Bill, I appreciate your arriving on time to our advising meeting. How is everything going? Dr. Herschler, things are going very well. Thank you for asking. I've become involved in two student clubs, and I'm volunteering at the SPCA so, I'm keeping busy. That's fantastic. Well, shall we begin talking about designing your upcoming semester? Yes, I only have about 15 minutes to meet, but I think that is all we will need. As you requested, I have printed out my audit, read over the course descriptions of the classes I am considering, created a tentative schedule, and I have written down one question. Great. I have looked over your audit. And, I read the email you sent indicating the five classes you plan to take. All of those classes are excellent choices. Yes, I'm knocking out a lot of requirements. It will be the perfect semester. One question I have is, given your other interests and time commitments, will you be able to achieve the GPA you desire, and still have time to sleep, get together with family and friends, exercise, etc.? Your current GPA is 2.5 and the graduate programs you spoke of require a minimum GPA of 3.0. Competition for admission is high in those programs, so the GPA needed for acceptance might be considerably higher. When you say the perfect semester are you accounting for your quality of life and the goals you have set for GPA? That's a great point. I will consider dropping one class. I have noticed that I can really only take 12 credit hours and have the time I need for my studies without feeling stressed out to the maximum. Bill, I hope you don't mind, but it is time for a theatrical aside, I want to address the audience. Go for it, I'll chill for a minute. Thanks Bill. Greetings advisees. This scene has demonstrated the importance of arriving on time and being prepared, which includes thoughtfully considering your course selections. Now, on to his question. I've been thinking about becoming a college health professor, what would you recommend I do? Exploring your career options is a lengthy process. First, I would interview those in the profession and ask them what they like about it and what challenges they experience. Then I would conduct job searches, so that you can find out what employers are seeking. Next you will want to look into all of the requirements of graduate programs, so that you know, if you are on track for achieving those requirements. Thank you Dr. Hirschler. Now it's my turn for a theatrical aside. So, as you can see fellow students, the advising process is a partnership. The more prepared I am the more productive our meetings are. It does not mean I have to have all the answers, or, all the questions for that matter, but it is helpful, if I have done some of the homework. Well, you have the idea. I wish you success. See you around campus.